Okay, hello incense streamers. Um, <laughs> all right, so first of all, a quick little tutorial uh, or a guide just kind of showing you how to set up uh, a, a, an incense campaign. Uh, it's a really, really super simple, easy, super duper process. Um, I haven't made a YouTube video in a while, so apologies if I'm rusty with this little guy. Uh, it's basically once you've uh, once you've basically had your uh, your incense workspace approved, uh, you need to go to engage.gg. I'll put links just below uh, in the Discord for the video. Um, and then basically once you're there, you should be able to see your workspace that has been transferred to you. You click on that. Uh, it will log yourselves in. Um, it will tell you how much kind of trial balance you've got in your wallet and stuff like that. It'll tell you about users and general overall analytics. Uh, further down the page. Uh, you obviously see the uh, the redemption URL. Well, that's literally for all your viewers. Uh, you post that in chat, put it below your stream, wherever you want to put it, uh, to basically advertise that uh, that's where your viewers need to go to claim their rewards. Uh, then this right here is your streamer overlay. Uh, grab that, whack it straight into XSplit, and uh, basically that's how your rewards will pop up and uh, and, and pop up and show on the stream. Uh, also works with OBS too. Um, Basically, uh, that's that's basically really really simple. Once you've done that, once you've got your ex uh, once you've got your your overlay set up on your OBS or your XSplit, uh, simply head on over to campaigns at the top. Uh, click create new campaign. Obviously, you can see your live, your upcoming, your past from there. Uh, click create new campaign, uh, and then once you're on here, this is basically what you need to do. So I normally start this literally the second I start my stream. So I've hit go. My countdown timer is on for ten minutes, uh, and then that gives me time to come and set this up and stuff. So uh, it should have the day. It's already on there. Obviously, it's localized to your own time as well. So currently for me, it's ten past one. Uh, so say I'm starting my stream at 10 past 1, uh, and then finishing my stream at, say, oh, I roughly do a 4 hour, 5 hour stream. Uh, if I know I'm going to definitely go to like 5 hours today, I'll work that out and I'll go to like 6, 7 o'clock. Um, and then we'll go from there. And then that way, based on however many uh, codes you want to generate for that time, obviously it is limited. If you're doing a short stream, uh, you will be limited to X amount, however many. Uh, I believe uh, 20 codes is roughly over about four hours duration. So uh, if you are going for longer, maybe you're doing a 24 hour stream uh, and you want to give more codes over those times, you could create a second campaign following on after the first one is finished. Um, or if you're doing a four hour stream or, or, or if you're doing shorter than that, you can just set the time and it will limit you to say 10 codes or six codes, five codes, whatever. Uh, and then literally as soon as you've done that, you hit create. And you're basically good to go. It's that simple, yo. Easy.